Now, in what appears to be an orchestrated campaign, yet another Jubilee leader is casting doubt on Deputy President William Ruto's candidacy in 2022. Nominated Senator Paul Njoroge is the latest on a string of leaders appearing to sideline Ruto in Jubilee politics after the 2017 elections. Now, this comes as the Deputy President appeals to opposition leaders to support the government in developing the nation. There is no doubt about Deputy President William Ruto's presidential ambitions. And so far, he has stuck to the jubilee tune of seeking a second term in office with President Uru Kenyatta in 2017. In turn, there has been a general understanding that he will seek the presidency and the coalition will support him after Uhuru completes his two terms. But now, nominated Senator Paul Njoroge, who hails from Nakuru County, has come out to ask Ruto not to expect an automatic support from Mount Kenya region and that all efforts should be concentrated in 2017. What I know is Uhuru is working towards coming again as the presidential candidate. What I do not know and what I'm not sure is whether he's convinced if, Uhuru, if Ruto is the right person as a running mate. Leave alone now the 2022 thing. According to the senator, the deputy president is already facing rebellion within his Rift Valley backyard. Hence, he should resolve the internal differences before crisscrossing the country seeking for votes. Aje tuambia exactly wanaenda na nani. Ndiyo tuangalia vile mambo itakuwa. And then unaona kuna shida huko Rift Valley. Unaona sasa tukichanganya mambo na mna hivi. Finally, itakuja kulete, kutuletea shida. <laughs> Njoroge's sentiments comes only a few weeks after Kiambu governor William Kabogo was quoted to have said that Mount Kenya people will have to meet first before agreeing to support William Ruto as the country's fifth president. Wengine wakisemama mbele ya watu, hawana lolote wao chochote cha kusema. Ni kutafuta tu uchochezi, jamii hii na jamii hile. Hiyo kura mini tatafuta kabisa kwa nakabogo, hui mtafanya juu chini. Nita hassle, kila kijiji na kila kona, mpaka nipate. 2022 is so far that no one can claim that he has a monopoly of 2022. It is only, it is only sensible that we forget about that. Meanwhile, the deputy president who had attended a church service in Mwala constituency, Machakos County, indicated that the government was more than ready to incorporate all leaders, regardless of their political affiliations, for the sake of development in the country. The only place we know where people are bought or sold is in a slave market. So if you believe in a slave market, my friend, you are not a democrat of any shade. You are retrogressive and backward. Kenya does not belong in that kind of age. We believe in a free society. It appears that the deputy president is not discouraged by the anti-Ruto narrative as he continues to campaign. Chris, the KTN News.